Greetings, everyone. My name is Mitch Dyer. I am here with Alfredo Diaz. Hey, Mitch. Alfredo, happy E3. Ooh, you and it, I have played a lot of Battlefield Hardline. We have. Uh, so right now we're looking at uh, the Operator class. Yes, sir. We are playing as the Police. Yeah. Five O, the Fuzz. We are. Uh, you're taking off in a chopper right now. Um, yeah, probably the worst idea ever. But sure. it's okay. Yeah, uh, so we're in an urban environment. We're downtown LA, uh, you know, during E3, and also where this video game happens to take place right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's interesting to me about Hardline's choppers is that it's not like Battlefield 4 or Bad Company, where you're in this chopper and it's got missiles and chain guns, yeah, a whole lot. Like this one, uh, some of them, some of them definitely have guns on them, and some of them are mm -hmm. assault vehicles. But for the most part, they're transports. Exactly. Uh, I think yeah. One of the cool things about like. Hardlines that it's very like cops and robbers themed. Yep. From the vehicles, the they weapons, really commit to it. you know what I mean? Of course the cosmetics and stuff like that. Yep. But like it's just really cool. But at the same time Oh, don't don't Good watch. Job, Fredo. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing for on PC with the mouse and keyboard for the first time, which is Oh, pretty. so you're playing like a real person does. Exactly. Master race. But like <laughs> it really like still at its core feels like battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, is that, what I loved about the it. The essence so of much. you know, shooting dudes in a big open space and having the that sandbox option to, you know, go anywhere, do anything and have crazy things happen is still definitely there, even though it's cops and robbers. Exactly. Um, so right now, um, this is blood money. blood money. So this is the bank, I believe? Yes. So you're in the middle of this this bank. There's this neutral pile of cash right here that the police and mm -hmm. the criminals are trying to, to get. Uh, so those criminals are not succeeding very well. Uh, so you and your cops right now, you're retrieving the money as evidence, and you basically yep. just grab as much of it as you can. You can only carry a certain amount before you have max cash. I think it's like 500k. Yeah, four or 500k yeah, yeah. at a time. You need, uh, in this particular match, 5 million to win. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to run that money back to your, your home base, which is basically just a truck. Your cop truck. Exactly. Uh, and at any point, the other team can go, oh, you have Steel. money in your truck. I'm going to just take it from you. Exactly. So they can loot both the neutral point and your base. Mm -hmm. and simultaneously, the robbers are trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah, and there. something Marty brought up in his hands-on preview, which you can read on IGN.com, is the, you know, that different play style of, okay, right now, Alfredo's carrying a ton of money. He's running back to his base, so he's kind of, you know, that typical snatch and grab assault kind of attack defense style. Yep. Uh, or you could just sit up there and you can camp it and defend it and just make exactly. sure that the enemies can't get in while your team comes in, loots it, and goes away. Mm -hmm. Or you can be like that ghost that is sneaking into the enemy base, grabbing exactly. all their stuff, and robbing them blind before they even know it. I think one of the fun parts is that it's kind of a gamble when you're going for the money. So it's yeah. just like, oh man, I have 200k, do yep. I sit here and keep taking more, yep. or do I just run with the loot? You know yeah, what I mean? and it's interesting, interesting, interesting right now, I mean, you can just hop in a car and just take it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and in Battlefield Hardline, I felt like using a vehicle felt less like an assault attack thing. Like, you're in a car and it's just a cop car. You can have dudes hanging out the window shooting stuff. But oh, wait, which was awesome. Yeah, but I always felt more vulnerable than I ever did in any Battlefield game because I could hop in a Jeep and I had a machine gun on the back or whatever. Like, you have these APCs with guns on the side and it's super protected. And there's fewer options for a team to use explosives to take you down. There are remote charges. There are RPGs. But yeah. you there's a don't see them a whole lot. No, there's actually gas. Yeah, the tear gas. You can, like, is buy really cool. like gas masks and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's like it's very interesting. And then like there's just like I said, it really feels like cops and robbers. Like you can, there's bats, there's uh, police batons, there's tasers for like neutral or sorry, uh, non-lethal takedowns, mm -hmm. which is great because you can uh, arrest somebody. You can just go behind them and do a non-lethal takedown. You can arrest and interrogate them, right. which sends like a ping out in the area. You know, like where's your team? And exactly. that guy like coughs up the info. And then he's like out and he respawns. Um, Another cool thing too is just like even the vehicles are themed, right? So yep. there's like the police um, specific vehicles, and then you have like right now it's like a more of a modern like it's like these are for the robbers. Yeah, you know, they're, they're type of like bike, I think. Yeah, there's, there's a, a couple different cop, different cop cars, too. right? Like you have the interceptor, which is your standard cop car, or there's the like the big truck, which is your SWAT van style thing. Oh man, you get that road kill? You got that road kill? I did get the road kill. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy That's that I had to stop for a second. <laughs> and then right here, I got a little confused because I was like, "All right, this is beam of light. Like, where do I drop off the cash? Yeah, yeah, I think I go up top, but it's yeah. all the way down low. Oh, okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like a like a beacon showing you where to go. Got it. Uh, so, in addition to, sorry, this is blood money we're playing right now. Yeah, I this guess is blood the, money. Names confuse me. Blood money. So the other mode is heist. 
uh, which will, you may have seen during the press conference, I think. Uh, but that mode is basically attack, defend, more traditional what you'd expect, almost like a Rainbow Six Vegas style mode oh, where yes. there is a vault and there is a you know there are two control points. There's like two. I think it's like the setup is like there's like two convoys and they get hit. On yeah, the way yeah. To like transport the money. That's yeah. That, in this map, that's to, it's convoys. That's right. Yeah, and then so, you have to go and like grab it. Yeah, you got and it's cool because you can't just grab both cash bags and then bring them to the same uh, exfiltration point. Mm -hmm. You have to grab two different ones. Exactly. You have to, and you have to exfiltrate to two, two different areas. So even if you get one bag out immediately, the other team knows, like, okay, I guess they're going to have to go to this control point, and we have to stop them from getting there. So oh we're yeah. just going to hang out there and stop so them. For sure. And then also, I mean, uh, back there, like, yeah. one of the robbers died, and he just spilled money everywhere. Yeah, you could just... Which is pretty cool. You never even need to go to the base, right? If you're if you're just hunting down somebody who's Got retrieving money, money, you just kill them, take their money, and bring it back. Yep. And I, I just, it was just fun. It was a lot of back and forth, and like I said, it was like really, it's like Battlefield at its core with like its cops and robbers feel. But what I really liked is like I love Battlefield, but I'm not the type of person to play Conquest because like if I don't have a team, it takes yeah. me forever to get from point A to point B because yeah. like people are just spawning in vehicles and stuff. But here, I felt like I never had that problem. I was like, there's always a, there was always a car or motorcycle yep. or some kind of convoy. And there's also that, something to know. do. Oh, right there, this perk you're seeing here is part yeah, of the reputation just, system. So right now, you have the choice to upgrade your flak jacket or your chest plate. And it's, you know, it's the choice of, okay, do I want bullet protection or, or do I want explosive protection? And this is a per-match thing. What you're looking at right now is something that Fredo unlocked, and now he has it. And he can keep unlocking more stuff during the match. But when the match ends, that's it. That resets. Yep. It's gone. Uh... It's kind of like a, I don't know, the immediate thing comes, that comes to mind for me because I play a ton of Dota is like, you know, you have that, that arc for your character per match and then it's over. Right. So yeah, you're earning sense. money the whole time that will let you unlock guns in the game now, like, or attachments. And that is your money to have forever. Like, as you get XP, you get money and that lets you upgrade stuff forever. Yeah, but I this is a more in-the-moment thing where, okay, mm -hmm. I'm getting shot a lot, not worrying too much about explosives. I'm going to get the, you know, that bulletproof jacket that will let me be a little more resistant to dudes who are coming right. after me. And I thought it was very interesting, and we'll see this coming up right now, is that it kind of had, like, a CS feel to it. If you look yes, at the bottom, yeah, right like, here, we'll go into that. You can, like, actually, like, buy weapons and stuff like that. But they last just for the duration of the game, I believe. The weapons themselves are yours forever. So when you buy that knife for 130 bucks or these perks here, like, these items and gear, like, all of this gear, that taser, the zip line, mm. the grapple hook, the gas mask, the gas grenades, when you buy them, they're yours. You have them forever. Even when you go back and yep. slow down? Maybe yep, so perfect. you buy the thing there, you have it in this match, and then you have that forever now. Uh, but the the upgrades, the perk system here with the reputation system, that's in that's the moment. That's just per game. Yeah, that's per game. Mm -hmm. And that'll reset, and you have to do it again next time. Which is good, because I'm not a huge fan of the perk system, like, from Call of Duty. Right, right, the right. way you just, like, take it with you. Yeah, just like where you just have this thing forever. Like, Juggernaut is, like, the constant thing that I go back to with Call of Duty. It's yeah, the worst exactly. perk of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude gets shot in the face, and he's good. I think I, I fail extremely hard with the harpoon here, but it's okay. It was like the yeah, it's a, it was a little tricky. Yeah, we're trying um, to figure out how to use the zip lines a whole bunch. It wasn't entirely clear that you launched it there. And yeah, and just a bunch there. of other people just running around. Not yeah, what to do. and the way we figured it out is like the zip line is good as like a high to low thing. Like if you're mm -hmm. high up on a building and you want to like zip line through a window in another building, it's really useful. Yeah. This chopper dude does not care. No. No F's given. <laughs> Uh, so there are four classes. We're looking yep. at the operator. Each one of them, you know, it's your typical battlefield thing, but they have been tuned. Uh, you don't see a whole lot of explosives. That's my favorite thing uh, about these classes. But yes, Alfredo, operator. We'll have a lot more on Battlefield Hardline. Yeah, we'll very have full soon. gameplay uh, clips up on IGN. You guys can make sure to go check. Yeah, it out. and be sure to check out our hands-on preview by Marty Sleva. I have a bunch of news stories on IGN. And as always, for all your video game, E3, and Battlefield Hardline needs, keep it locked to IGN. Later.